For a long time, we've been hearing about the great economic promise of the oil and gas industry in our area. Some of that promise has become a reality. Babs Callan in its annual report says that Appalachian, Marcellus, and Utica shale accounts for more than 40% of America's natural gas output, compared to only 3% 10 years ago. The oil and gas industry has received big support from Washington, D.C., but some leaders on the state and local level are concerned about the potential environmental impact from drilling. And the energy industry itself is worried about possible retaliation by potential foreign customers from a trade war. We welcome back Joe Reinhardt, shareholder with Babs Callan and co-chair of that firm's Energy and Natural Resources Group. Joe, it's always good to have you on the show. Thank you Thank for you. coming good back. Um, you know, we, knew, we know that after a very promising start, there was kind of a little dip in natural gas drilling in the area that seems to be coming back. What would you, how would you describe the state of uh, Marcellus Shale and natural gas right now in the Pittsburgh area? Well, we've been seeing the rebound that we talked about last year, John, continue. And so I think we're seeing a positive uh, industry development where they have even more drilling than they did a year ago. Right. If you look at the Appalachian Basin a year ago, it was about twice the drilling that had been occurring in 2016. It's up again this year. And as mm. you point out, uh, that has now allowed the, uh, the Appalachian Basin to, to really generate a significant volume of uh, natural gas for the United States. 40%, that's really amazing. It really is. When you think about where we were just a decade ago, it really is remarkable, which is uh, just demonstrating that uh, during that time period with gas prices down, uh, the industry has managed to be vibrant because of the fact that they figured out how to drill more efficiently. They have lot longer laterals and uh, generally being able to just do things more quickly. Right. Now, I know your group is oil and gas, and I tend to naturally focus on natural gas, but do we have oil? In, uh, we used to. I remember Titusville was <laughs> in 1859, I believe. That's very good. That's right, uh, Colonel Drake uh, drilling the first well. We certainly do have oil, but in terms of production, our, our state is second in the union with regard to natural gas production. I think we're something in the order of 19th or 20th with regard to oil. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the folks folks out west that uh, are involved with the oil plays uh, have really been benefiting this year because, you know, the oil prices have really been going up over a year ago. Yes, uh, they have. We noticed, we noticed that at the pump. At the pump, right. <laughs> so from that standpoint, then, we really are natural gas, as you say, and that it tends to be our focus. Have you seen, uh, well, let me just ask you about the worries about trade wars because President Trump, as we know, has consistently taken from the very first time he campaigned in Western Pennsylvania, he told us that this country has been unfairly treated by foreign countries, which is true. Uh, they apply different rules to us than we apply to them, and that's not fair. Uh, and he's really cracking down. But there's concerns about repercussions. What are the concerns in the oil and gas industry on that level? Yeah, it certainly that's true because of the fact that there, it, it cuts both two different ways. Number one, with regard to getting material from overseas, uh, pipeline uh, developers, uh, I think the latest figures I've seen suggest that they buy three quarters of their pipeline uh, from, they import them from other countries. And so having the pipeline available that they're expecting at the prices they had would be something that would be challenged by the tariffs. And then with regard to the ability to sell the material overseas, We've gone, John, from a net importer of, of uh, natural gas to an ex exporter. And so we've, in the last year, uh, had two terminals for liquefied natural gas that have opened. We expect four more next year. And so there's a, a big expectation on the gas side that there's going to be more exports that are occurring for this right. natural gas. And well, so that could be a question. Well, let me talk to you about that. First of all, on the piping side, buy American. Let's buy American steel if you're going to use uh, uh, steel pipe in your operations. You don't need to go overseas. You can get a lot of good American pipe. And I know because I, 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 my family comes out of the steel industry, right. so I know a little bit about that. But on the export side, I think that is, is very interesting news about basically it's a form of natural gas that you can put in containers and ship overseas. Is that right? That's exactly right. It, it is really a remarkable thing that you're able to be uh, competitive when you're talking about taking something so far away. And that's what we've been able to do. And the industry is is excited about that. And we really expect to see, as I said, quite a, a significant increase in the amount of that over the next few years. I, I had someone say to me, though, that they were concerned that the export of natural gas from the U.S. overseas 
would raise prices of natural gas here in this region. Any sign that that's happened? I, no, I don't believe so, because we have so much that we've been able to develop. I mean, the volumes of, of gas that we're getting are so significant, particularly out of this basin. And if you look to see what people are paying for natural gas in their homes, right. we've really done very well with that. And so even though there's more usage of it, I think uh, there hasn't been a bump. To me, John, the more interesting issue would be, we talk about the shell cracker uh, periodically, the fact natural gas liquids associated with it are really the source of a lot of opportunity economically for the region to the right. extent that we can make products out of the natural gas liquids. Right, and the plastics and things like exactly. that down the, down the line. Well, you know, Joe, we always learn a lot when you come on the show, so I want to thank you again for coming and sharing with us. People, if they want to get a hold of your report, I think we've put the BAP Callens website up there. They can just get it. And it's actually a, it's a rather nice report. There's a lot of info in there. Joe Reinhardt, thank you, sir, thank very you much for joining us thank again. You. We appreciate it. We'll be back with more of the Sunday Business Page in just a few moments. Stick with us.